It's the most wonderful time of the year, but for one family in Lone Oak, it's coming to an end. Their love for two things, Christmas and Coca-Cola, have inspired the community for nearly a quarter of a century, bringing a smile to the faces of little and big kids alike, and leaving them with memories that will last for many Christmases to come. Christmas comes but once a year. But just beyond the door of this Lone Oak home. Oh, look who's here. Y'all come on in. A Coca-Cola Christmas lasts all year long. Some may call it a hobby. Every now and then I have to move something to find a space for something. Others an obsession. <laughs> Well, my husband says it's out of control. But for Wanda Cook... Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm pretty well known as the crazy Coca-Cola lady. It's a love that's only grown and grown and grown over time. Probably two-thirds of what you see here has been given to us by people in the community. What began as a small collection transformed over the years into a magical wonderland for kids in Lone Oak County. <laughs> Oh, how did you hear it? And it all started with Wanda's grandson. I asked when I was in second grade if we could do a Christmas party out here. That's Josh Anderson. The crazy cold cola lady is my grandmother. Little did he know that party would turn into yearly field trips for kids in the Lone Oak County School District. A chance for them to witness the magic of a Coca-Cola Christmas. Just from that moment on, I knew this was a very special thing. That, um, a lot of kids, um, wouldn't get to experience otherwise um, in the area that we live in. So it was always very special. But sadly, that magic. We were wondering ourselves how much longer we could do it. Is coming to an end. I think that it's just a God thing that we know now that it is time to celebrate the 25th year that would have happened. This weekend, the cooks are opening up their Coca-Cola Wonderland to the public one last time. Inviting everyone in for a can of Coke and a Mrs. Wanda specialty. The Cokies. <laughs> <laughs> Even big kids, when I run into them uh, now in town, they'll say, do you still make Cokies? And of course I do. Right now, for the event, I've made 484 so far, and I'm still baking. A chance to relive the magic one last time. Thanks for inviting my class out to the Coca-Cola tour. Enjoying every moment. It's sad to end, but it's great to have the memories. Till the last drop. Ah, Coca-Cola! <laughs> And you can experience the magic of a Coca-Cola Christmas for yourself this Sunday, April 2nd from 1 to 5. We've got the address for you on KRK.com. What happens to all the stuff? Okay, so I asked her that. She said her kids get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he says, I have no idea what I'm going to do Everyone's with all that. Everyone's going to have I mean, And I want it has... Coca-Cola Incorporated ever reached out yes, to Yes, they have. I think she told me, and I might get this wrong, Miss Wanda, but she wanted them to deliver Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. and they weren't getting back to her, and she said, well, I'm going to serve Pepsi if you don't get back to me. They, they got, got back, back to her. <laughs> Man, well, absolutely, a Coke yeah. and a lot of smiles. We, we love stuff. to see it. So go out this weekend and check it out. Yeah. It's so worth it. Take advantage of that. <laughs> well,